Good morning, good morning, Israel. Good morning, believers. Good morning. Hey, J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth, Bible teaching with Jeff DeLoach. Jeff DeLoach. All praises, honor, glory to the Most High Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we come before you with a trite, humble spirit because you, we know your wisdom and knowledge is, your ways aren't our ways. <clears throat> and we seek to know your ways and to know you. <clears throat> through your Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. We ask for peace among our peoples, grace to reconcile back to you, though it's undeserved, and we thank you over and over again. And then when we're done, we thank you some more. Amen. You're welcome. Um. So I wanted to read this. It's Daniel. It's a jumping off point. Um, I heard Mr. Tony Williams, <clears throat> Street Ministers for Christ. Wow. I'm dumbfounded. Trying to teach the book of Esther. Anyhow, um, I'm going to just get going. I'm, I don't know what to say. Except stupid people need to sit down and listen. And he's one of them, man. He's, he has a, he has a verb for the Lord. He has a, a hankering to, to know the Bible, but, um, <clears throat> anyhow, and Daniel, so what, what the point of the message is going to be is that. Understanding the Bible isn't just for anyone. Again, again I say it. So this is Daniel chapter 2, verse 20. I'll start at 19. Thanksgiving for an answered prayer. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Verse 20, Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. And he changes, <coughs> verse 21, and he changes the times and the seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He reveals the deep and secret things. <coughs> Sorry. Had to get that out. He reveals the deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness and the light dwells with him. I thank thee and praise thee, O God of my fathers, who has given me wisdom and might and has made known unto me now what we desired of thee. For thou hast now made known unto us the king's matter.
what's Daniel saying? He's the same thing. He's saying the same thing I say all the time. Thank you, Lord, for giving us understanding and wisdom. Thank you. For giving me the ability to understand your word. What's he say? I raise up kings and I set kings down. Um, he setteth up kings. Let's get it so you guys can understand. He raises up kings. Why does he raise up kings? Why Nebuchadnezzar? This is talking about Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar and Daniel became friends. A heathen king and a fucking high level Israelite. Why? Because I'm going to point something out to you folks that these idiot, a lot of these idiot GMS boneheads and a lot of people don't understand. Just because you're a Gentile, just because you're a heathen, just because you're a pagan, God raises you up to, to create the story. There's no story without an opposition or a, a protagonist and an antagonist. That's literature, people. Oh, man. It's like, it's like trying to teach a third grader Melvin or something or If you just listen to what I'm saying and believe me, that's good. That's all you need to do because I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not trying to mislead you. I'm not, I'm not stupid. I'm not here to play like I'm the smartest guy in the world. I was giving these things. I'm just trying to give it back to people that want to listen anyhow. So Tony Williams was going into the story of Esther and... What? <laughs> uh, what is the story of Esther about, people? Does anyone know? The Feast of Purim? The Jews still do it to this day, the Feast of Purim. See, Xerxes, I'm going to just use Xerxes. His name in the Bible is Ahasuerus. Or Asuris, it's hard. My buddy, my Jewish buddy knows how to pronounce it. Asuris or whatever. I'm just going to call him Xerxes. He's the one in that movie, The 300. He's a Persian king. He was the king of all the world during the time of Esther. So when we're back there in Daniel, where Daniel's saying, Thank you, Lord, for giving me all the wisdom, all the knowledge, all the understanding, because you are the one that raises up kings and brings down kings. You're the one that does everything. You're the right hand, the left hand. You guys been following me in our lessons, some of you? I can't believe there's still only like 10 or 15 of us that are actually learning the Bible the right way. I guess people don't have the time and energy to sit and learn the Bible. They don't care. That's why we have all these idiots out here. Even GMS just blabbing whatever fits their little black Hebrew narrative. It's it's disgusting. It's sad. It's really sad. I'm about ready to cry. I don't know what God's going to do. I Luckily, he's merciful and gracious because so the book of Esther is about my tribe. Let me read it. It's not easy to do this because it's a it move, it's a full story. It's full. And so if I try to read it, I'll be here for hours 
try and get you to understand what's going on. Now, it came to pass in the days of Xerxes, his reign from India even to Ethiopia, now over 107 and 20 provinces, he ruled everything. That in the days of um, Xerxes sat on the throne of his kingdom, he was in Shushan. In the third year of his reign, he made a feast. And just let me get go through the first part because I don't need to read all this. Sorry. He had a queen, Vashti. And she was beautiful. She was awesome. So they decided to have this feast because they were they were rocking the, the, the world. They had the whole world in their hands. So he threw this big feast for seven days. Elaborate. Marble, black, blue, and red marble. Um, cords of linen of purple and white and green and blue. And there, he, it was colorful. It was beautiful. It was rock. And it was one of the best parties ever. And so he asked when the, when the end of the week was come near, he was like, you dudes need to see my bitch, man. She's awesome. So he called his queen Vashti to come do a little dance for the men. And what happened is she got full of herself and said, fuck you, king. I'm not your bitch. And he told her, then get the fuck away from me. And he, he dethroned her. For good reason. Do you tell the man who runs the whole world, fuck you? So Xerxes is an example of us is he's the he's Jesus and, and Vashti is us. Fuck you, Lord. Fuck you. I'm not doing what you say. I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to play around on this earth and make this earth my my earthly kingdom. You're, I'm not looking for your kingdom. Your kingdom can go can go fuck itself. That's what this is about. This is about people either being obedient. And doing what the boss says. Or getting fired. That's all it's about. It's all about sticking to your guns. What are you going to do? So what happens? What happens? Let me get it. So. Now in Shushan, this is 2-5. This is where it comes into being about my people. The whole book is about my people. Benjamin and Judah, the whole book. Because Jesus was of Bethlehem and my people were of Bethlehem. Benjamin was born in Bethlehem. Jesus was born in Bethlehem. We sit on his shoulder. We sit right here by his head in safety. Benjamin, my tribe is fucking protected, given everything. I know you hate to hear that. Fuck, he's an arrogant fucker. I... I'm not. I'm very humble and kind because I'm sharing these things with you people and whoever else wants to listen. But obviously, there's only a few people like Most High Son and Ahmad, my, my brother Valentine, and a few others. A few of you that this channel should be blowing up. I'm not stumbling and mumbling that much. If you want to learn the Bible, I'm teaching you. Now in Shushan, in the palace, there was a certain Jew whose name was Mordecai, the son of Jair, the son of Shimei, the son of Kish, a Benjamite. Do, you, do I need to get you the, um, the reputation of my people? This is of Saul. Kish was the father of Saul. Shimei, Kish, the father of Saul, a Benjamite, that's Mordecai, who had been carried away from Jerusalem with the captivity, which had been carried away with Jeconiah, the king of Judah, from Nebuchadnezzar, 
the king of Babylon had carried away. So when we we're back there in Daniel, see, the reason it's hard to listen to me is because it's so in depth. If you're not listening closely, you'll go, I'm lost. It's not that hard. Nebuchadnezzar was king. He came into Judah. He came in. That's why Daniel was in with Nebuchadnezzar back there in Daniel. You got, it's a story. It's not some shit you're making up. 180 days means in 180 days, the, the fucking sun's going to cover the moon and the moon's going to have an eclipse and we're going to have 45 days and four means this and five. No, it's a story. Fucking, oh. And it, and it follows. It all, it's, it all just refers back to itself. Boom, boom, boom. <clears throat> Why Mordecai? Why a Benjamite? Because we're the fucking badasses. <coughs> it's killing me. So Nebuchadnezzar took the children of Babylon captive. And then when his kingdom fell in Xerxes, the Persians and the Medes took over through Xerxes. These captives of Judah and Benjamin ended up under Xerxes because he conquered Nebuchadnezzar. Do you understand? Is it that hard? And he brought up Hadassah, that is Esther, his uncle's daughter. So she's a Benjamite too. And she was neither fa she had neither father and mother, and the maid was fair and beautiful. Who Mordecai, when her father and mother were dead, took for his own daughter. That's what we do. You think Benjamites don't protect their family? That's what wolves do. We protect our family. We're ravenous. We're not going to fucking stop. <clears throat> so I'm going to try and move quicker because I it's hard. It's like, what's the use? But I'm going to try. I'm, I love you guys. So it came to pass when the king's commandment and his decree was heard. And when many maid, maidens were gathered at Shushan in the custody of Haggai, that Esther was brought also into the king's house to the custody of Haggai, keeper of the women. Who was Haggai? He was a eunuch. He was a man that watched over the women. He was making sure no one's fucking around. They cut his nuts off and he defended the women from anyone fucking around with the king's bitches. So in this story, really interesting... Because I read it yesterday after Tony pissed me off. I read it again. I'm like, man, even these fucking Bible scholars that did the commentary, they fucked it all up. So what Tony Williams was talking about that doesn't fit anything, it's pretty stupid. It didn't, didn't make any sense. It doesn't matter. He was talking about the purification time of the women. The women that, that this eunuch Haggai gathered to possibly become the queen after Vashi got her ass kicked out of there for being a cunt. Can't understand normal thinking. King says dance, you fucking dance. That's why I'm that's why I brought up that part in. Daniel, God raises up these kings for a reason. And why did he have Vashti be a big fat fucking cunt? Because he wanted to bring in, he had to bring in the Benjamite. Esther, that's the story. Tony Williams, you idiot. Fuck.
Fucking hey, man. <sighs> and the maiden pleased him and she obtained kindness of him. So he picked he picked Esther and he made her go through a year of purification. Listen. And he speedily gave her her things, her portion for purification with such things as belonged to her and seven maidens, which were meat to given, <coughs> which were given to her out of the king's house. And he preferred her and her maids unto the best place of the house of the women. Esther had not showed her people nor her kindred, for Mordecai had charged her that she should not show it. She didn't tell him, I'm a Jew. She didn't tell, Mordecai said, don't tell him you're a Jew. So how, why is it that um, I'm, how, why is it I'm Judah and no one can recognize? How, why is it we can't find Benjamin? Till now. That I'm, I'm prophecy, I am prophecy in the flesh. The reason I'm, the Lord told me who I am and the reason I have all this knowledge and the reason I'm here talking to you about the Bible every fucking day for hours it's time something's happening I don't know I'm just a servant I'm just here to do what I'm supposed to do teach you fucking what's going on And Mordecai walked every day before the court of the women's house to know how Esther did and what should become of her. What does that harken back to? That's like Satan, people. That's like an angel. Mordecai's Benjamin. We're fallen fucking angels. We're walking to and fro, checking out what's going on. We caused telling you, I'm going to cause all kinds of fucking trouble here. I already am. I'm watching every fucking thing. Mordecai walked every day. Benjamin wakes in the morning every day. Gives a message, downloads at noon, and brings home the spoil in the evening. Same story. Never changes. It's going to be the same story. What do my people do? That's what we do. So anyway, there's a couple points I wanted to hit on. Let me see what I got. I'll have to come back. I, I basically got the, the main theme of what I'm tell, talking about. But anyway, when they purify her, they purify her with... So, um, Esther means in Hebrew, myrtle. In prophetic symbolism, the myrtle would replace the briars and thorns of the desert so depicting the Lord's forgiveness and acceptance of his people. That's me. He's pulling me out of these thorns and briars, pulling me out of this GMS nonsense, this church nonsense, this fucking, these idiots out here that are trying to teach the Bible that don't know Israel. How can you teach the Bible if you don't know Israel? Hello? That's why it's so sickening. These, these guys like Tony Williams, these church-bred monkeys. I have nothing against the church, people. They just need to stay in their fucking lane. Um, myrtle branches are still carried in procession at the Feast of Tabernacles. And signify peace and thanksgiving. Esther is the Persian word for star. It picks up the sound of the Hebrew and suggests the star-like flower of the myrtle. Fallen stars. He took a he took a fucking bunch of stars with his tail and threw them down to the earth. Ah! 